Welcome back guys Today is another bike check uh, I am here, my brothers uh, On one bike It's a It's a 45650B On one uh, Aerospace quality Chromoly So this is a steel So is steel real? We will see so this is a small size frame, uh, color black and orange combination for the logos. Uh, we'll start at the fork, then tires, then go up from the top, going to the rear. Okay? So here we have the fork. It is a Suntour, uh, SR Suntour Ion, 150mm travel. Uh, air fork with the 34 mm uh, diameter stanchion it it has a or it is a true axle with q lock uh, technology of sr suntour so in the front tires we have a maxis aggressor 27.5 by 2.3 uh, it is an EXO or EXO protection and it is already tubeless ready. So the rims are all Terra rims. Uh, it's a 35 mm wide uh, external uh, rim. So when you put it there, it looks like a plus size bike. See how the tires uh, look fatter than the normal while this is only a 2.3 uh, tires same at the back it's also a 27.5 by 2.3 uh, EXO protection and tubeless ready it has also a 35 mm uh, rim uh, external width so here we have the grips. It's an Oauri grips. Uh, it's a thick rubberized grips. So here we have the handlebar. It's a six pack handlebar, uh, 760 mm width and 35 mm diameter thick and the stem is uh, I'm not sure how short or long is this but this is very short maybe a 35 mm uh, DH stem also by uh, 6 pack the cockpit we also see the SRAM brakes TB5 uh, and the Diore shifter and on the right side it's a 10 uh, 10 on the right side it's a 10 shift uh, 10 speed shifter and on the left side it's a 2 uh, speed shifter also with a DB5 brake lever so we also have here the uh, giant remote dropper switch for your dropper seat post the the headset is a niner headset as you can see uh, all cables are externally routed there is no internal cable uh, for this uh, frame Okay. Here you can see the saddle uh, WTB Volt which is a little bit worn out already with all the rides from Timberland, Patiis and many more. Here we can see the giant dropper seat post external uh, cable externally routed 
like my Merida Big 9500. I think this has the exact. Uh, I think this has the same exact model of my Merida Big 9500, uh, uh, with the optional of both internal and external uh, routing for the cable. So now we go to the uh, crank or drivetrain uh, in front. So here we have the SLX uh, front derailleur and a uh, crank of, I think this is a Diore, uh, old Diore model with a 38 and 26 uh, chain ring in front. 175 crank arm length now my brother uh, has placed a Shimano I don't know yes it's a Shimano uh, cleats uh, clicker according to him this is uh, better for Pati East rides with a bigger platform for more stable uh, uh, foot placement then we go down to the cogs the cogs is a uh, 11 T to 36 T uh, this is actually an old drive train already as you can see but uh, it has the um, Diore rear derailleur with clutch uh, switch for the chain slap on trails. Uh -huh. So here we take a look at the brake caliper. So this is a SRAM DB5 with quad piston. So quad piston means uh, one, two, three, four pistons uh, for better modulations. This has a 180 mm rotor by Shimano with an ICE technology. Same in front. The camera won't focus here. So we have here, same in front, uh, SRAM caliper DB5 quad piston and also 180 mm uh, Shimano ICE tech rotors then here we have the coal uh, carbon uh, hubs in front so here also at the rear we have the coal carbon hubs with uh, tunog mayaman uh, as they say uh, I'll try to uh, let you hear it the sound of the Tunog Mayaman or like Hope Hubs is like this. So, this bike is a hardtail bike. It has a small frame. Uh huh. Uh, that is uh, the geometry is a uh, all mountain geometry according to the reviews I've read or the, the on the internet which I've researched. Um, is still real? I think yes. This is a very heavy bike for a hard tail. Uh, uh, if you are going to ask if you can do enduro. On this bike, well, yes, my brother has been doing or has been riding this bike uh, at Patiis Highway um, and, and uh, Virgo Line, leaving me on a dust while I am riding a full suspension bike and I still cannot catch that bastard. He is too fast, so and a lot of confidence. I'm too scared to do to, to go fast. I'm too chicken out to do it fast. So 
with a fork of 150 mm you just run through the rocks at highway um, with no hesitations and no problem okay so by the way this video again is sponsored by CDS Cycles of Bulacan um, again with finish line uh, suspension uh, bottle so what you do is shake it and spray it to your fork after you wash it just please don't spray it on your rotor or else it will go to your uh, brake pads and you have to throw your brake pads because it will become useless okay thank you again CD Cycles for this one so after you spray you can do a pump so that it will go in so it will lubricate the stanchion after, for better um, what you call this for para mas madulas so it's smoother travel so have I written this one? yes I've written this one uh, for short rides uh, I'm not very comfortable as you can see this is a 27.5 um, rims uh, which is I'm not very comfortable as if you can uh, if you uh, watch my old videos for me if you go hardtail you go 29er and not 27.5 it will kick your butt on trails definitely okay so that's it i think for this uh short bike check on my brother's bike um i hope you like this uh video please uh click like uh comment share and subscribe to my channel uh, so i can make new and more videos like this so my next uh, plan for bike check is my Merida 120 which uh, I have been wanting to do uh, a bike check but doesn't have time uh, the time now is actually maybe 10 p.m. which I'm still doing videos so that's it for today or for tonight or for this bike check I'll see you on my next bike check